Cuba had half a million troops and civilians in Africa at various times during the period between 1960 and 1989. As part of its internationalist mission, Cuba sent troops to Angola on request from the late Angolan President Augustino Neto just before the country gained independence. Cuba gradually increased its troop numbers in Angola as the country's independence was under threat by troops from the then Zaire, now DRC, advancing from the north onto Luanda. A few days before 11 November 1975, the agreed date for Angola's independence, South African troops advanced rapidly on the capital of Angola. Cuban troops, assisted by MPLA soldiers, stopped the planned onslaught and defeated the enemy troops, allowing Angola to raise its flag on November 11. General Diaz Arguelles already had a track record in Africa, having served two years in Guinea-Bissau, taking part in the war against Portugal. Was the most courageous. Uh, combatants in Havana and in the mountains in Cuba during the period against Batista. General Diaz Arguelles arrived in Angola a month before 11 November 1975. When the South African army retreated into Namibia, Cuban troops pursued the retreating army when the armored vehicle he was traveling in hit a landmine. That is the price that you have to pay for uh, a risk. Of course, for us was uh, sad. But at the same time, uh, he was doing what he wants to do and what we need he does. He died like a hero, no doubt. And uh, of course, you always feel uh, sentiments uh, about that, but at the same time, at the same time, I am proud about what he did, about what he uh, died, the way he died. A warrior and courageous fighter for African independence, General Raul Diaz Arguelles is one of the more than 2,000 Cuban internationalists who died in Africa and was promoted to the rank of general after his death.